why do you need a database is a question if i'm asking you how many centuries did sachin it we will be getting an answer maybe we will not speak in the english we will speak in the language with the database understands that is sql now the question comes why do you need a database database is required for each and every application database is a heart of an application without heart you cannot survive without a database a application cannot survive very very important today you will go to amazon you will go to amazon you will uh, give your email id password then you will open it okay how you are able to purchase because your records your phone number your personal email address or your uh, delivery address shipping address everything is stored in their account that is a reason immediately you can go and order a product that is a reason immediately you can go and order a product database is required to store all the information with respect to customers and the moment you open your amazon why i am giving amazon is i am 100% sure everyone would have used amazon right 100% sure and what you observe here is every products details you are getting how it is possible the moment you click any phone right from the configuration right from the configuration right till the mrp price till till the end when i say till the end till the complete details you are able to see whether the positive feedback negative back negative feedback what was a customer review every single thing you are able to see because they have stored somewhere okay directly you are going to web application and login directly you are opening your net banking logging in very very quickly you can get the information right for all this purpose for all this purpose you need a database you need a database there are many people who are accessing at the same time for everyone the transaction has to happen okay maybe not now i'm talking one one and a half year before we had a demand for tatkal ticket in train everyone at 11 o'clock they starts waiting for booking a ticket tatkal ticket may be the people who have wanted to travel within a short period of time maybe a short decision they have to travel they would have not booked the tickets and for them there is a tatkal ticket opening that has been available one day before when this one day before ticket has been given everyone will fighting will be fighting for that 200 tickets there are thousand people there are thousand people and and you will be you will be also one of the person who is going to ticket everyone is not going to ticket only the first 200 people will get you have to manage the transactions maybe you have to manage the complete flow only the database will can handle this effectively this is what database is okay database is required to store the information of a customer you may think it as as a information but for the companies your data is a business right now for everything there is a competition right so what are the competitions maybe if you take a phone for iphone maybe samsung could be the challenging for samsung maybe the competitor could be the mi for mi there could be the vivo so always there is a challenges or the competitors between the products similarly we were talking about the we were talking about the database what is database it is basically to store the data for your business 
okay what is ibm people have done this they have created their own database in their organization they have created their own database in the organization okay and and what happened what happened they have also given lease to some companies hey if you want to use your database for your application use mine use our ibm database and pay you some, and you pay me something chapter close there is some startup company a startup company cannot own their own database because building a database is not easy it's a huge task so what they'll do they cannot prepare for their budget so what will do they'll come to ibm they will ask hey i want to use your database i'll pay this much that way that way microsoft sql server is having its own database postgre its own having its own database ibm is having own database oracle is having own database okay but but almost everything is like similar everything is similar okay it's not that huge change some small small syntax changes or maybe i would say small small features could be different maybe ibm support some 10 gb of data maybe sql server may support 8 gb of data or maybe oracle will be supporting 15 gb but maybe it could be a licensed one this type of this type of changes will be there okay now let me give an example say i am speaking in english you are understanding in english why because both of us know english when you are speaking even i will understand why because i also know english it's like a two way traffic whatever i tell you listen whatever you tell i listen both of us will speak together right but but what is a common thing between us is english today i am in india i am in india all my students are from india so basically i will speak in a normal english i am not using any posh english i am not using any standard words i am not using any some difficult vocabularies no a simple one i am speaking and you are understanding because i assume that okay all my students are indians tomorrow let us say i was invited for a session in us or uk i go there do you expect me to be in the same face same proverb of same vocabulary definitely not so i will be still speaking in english my seminar or session will still go in english but but one thing it's going to change is my sentence formation my phrases my slang my speed my vocabulary everything is going to change because i need to adjust according to a us people so that they are able to understand some people if i speak in this speed maybe they will not understand i have to go very slow or maybe if you go to uk or a canada i have to speak very fast then only they can understand like this like this each and every country though the english is common slight slight changes are there but the language is not going to change remember that the language is not going to change i'm not going and speaking in their own language okay so tomorrow i'm going to sri lanka okay i'm not uh, like going and talking in some ceylon or something some language their own language no i am still going to speak in english only so the english language is common now similarly similarly all this databases all this databases the language is going to be sql that is what we are going to learn sql tomorrow tomorrow after this course after this course maybe who knows directly you can work with ibm 
who knows directly you are working in oracle if you are working in oracle oracle will not use ibm product no oracle itself is having their own product that is a database why will they go and borrow ibm come for ibm if you are tomorrow working in ibm ibm itself they own own their database why will they borrow someone's understand like this like this the company which you go depends what database they are using but you need not worry because we are going to concentrate more on the language part if you learn the language you can go and communicate anywhere that way that way in our course in our course we are going to learn one database language is something common and we are going to learn one language that language that tool will be mysql remember this mysql is a database sql is a language okay mysql is a mysql is a database and sql is a language remember that database and language there is always a difference okay oracle is a database ibm is a database db2 is a database what is a database which stores the information of a business it stores the records maybe i'll call it as a database mysql is also a database but language which are used in all these tools is sql okay so we have to learn one tool that tool which we are going to learn is mysql and the language is pretty common that is sql language structured query language okay so this is what we are going to see okay now you may ask me hey why are you teaching mysql why don't you teach oracle why don't you teach ibm why don't you teach microsoft sql server okay so as a beginner i would say as with respect to the companies as with respect to the real time applications the most widely used database is mysql most of the companies are using this mysql database okay so what is the advantage of this when i say i am teaching mysql i should prove you that why i have chosen mysql than the other database okay the screen on the screen towards your right side of your slide whichever companies you are seeing all these companies are using mysql for their day to day processing with respect to with respect to sql database okay all this if you see facebook wikipedia nasa adobe all this company it's just a hand picked companies this companies are using mysql for their for their analysis okay and the mysql is actually available for free source like open source you yourself can you yourself can open create an account or maybe even not required that you can directly go and download it and work for your system you can install directly in your laptop and you can start working on it okay so basically database is used to store the data you can install and you can store the data in a table format okay and it is having i volume capabilities and also it is a cross platform compatibilities when i say cross platform you can install in your windows system you can win install in your mac os you can install in your uh, linux machine you can also install in your ubuntu machine with respective of whatever with respect to whatever operating systems you have for every version for every os you have this tool that is why it is called cross platform okay and it is actually reliable highly secure okay everyone tells that okay your data has to be protected 
this also be will be responsible for high security very very easy to use